Okay, in our first uh, parts of lecture, we've taken a look at the stuff in this list interface, which means the array list class had to implement it, like size, add two ways, and get. So what's left for us to look at? Set and remove. Let's see what those are, and we'll call it a day, we'll call it a week. Set and remove. Okay. Set is a lot like that last add method we did, where we pick a position for it to go in, and then we put a string or some object in there, and then what was there gets shifted to the right. Set is a lot like that. If I go my strings dot set into position to a car, okay, and then display my strings. You can probably guess kind of what it does, but perhaps not exactly. It's going to go in position two, where Cherry is, and put the car there. But it does not shift Cherry over to the right. It replaces Cherry. Ethan, we got insert with the add method. And now we're inserting with the set method. So again, add is like insert. You're inserting something in there and moving everything else to the right. Set is like replace. So now my cherry has been replaced with car. Do you see cherry is gone? So if I say my strings dot set position zero to abracadabra, apples in position zero now, but I'm setting it to something else, abracadabra, my apple should be gone. That's the set method. And the last method, I think it's pretty obvious what it does. It's called remove. Okay. I wish they'd called add, maybe insert sometimes. And I wish they'd called set replace sometimes. But remove is a beautiful name for this method because that's all it does. It's probably the simplest method of all to use. So let's go back to apple, banana, and cherry. And if I do my strings dot remove, what's in position one? Well, what's in position one? Banana, right? So I'm taking that out. So what would you guess is the output? Would you guess we'd have apple? and then a blank empty string, and then cherry? Or would it be just apple and then cherry? Well, if you took something out of an array, you still have the placeholder there, still be a spot there. But array lists are smarter than that. They change their size dynamically. They only use the memory that they need. So this cherry is going to go to position one, shift over to the left, and we'll have apple and banana, and that's it. See, banana is gone. There's no empty space, and that's what remove does. It takes the position. So hopefully, as we cut class loose early today, because it's Friday, we're all tired, brain's dead, 
we can say, when we look at the cheat sheet here, the quick reference for May 12th, we can see, yeah, we talked a little bit about size. We added an object. We added an object at a certain position. We used the get method to take things out one at a time. We used the set method to replace whatever's at index position with a new object. And we just use remove. Okay. 